seasonal hunt. Ever wondered about the majestic creature that graces our plates during special occasions? That's the king crab. A delicacy in many parts of the world, this crustacean is not just delicious but also f fascinating. Imagine a spider, but underwater and much larger. That's the king crab for you. With long, spindly legs and a hard shell, it's a sight to behold. The body is segmented. And it has a pair of claws, one of which is usually larger than the other. King crabs are not just picked up from any ocean floor. There's an art and science to it. The icy waters of the Bering Sea and the Northern Pacific, especially around Alaska and Russia, are prime king crab territories. The colder the water, the better the quality of the crab. Large cages or pots are dropped deep in to the ocean, baited to attract the crabs. After a waiting period, these pots are pulled up, hopefully teeming with these crustaceans. The primary season for catching king crab, especially in the Bering Sea and waters around Alaska, is in the fall. Specifically, the season for red king crab is typically in October, while the season for blue and golden king crab can extend into the early winter months. However, the exact timing and duration of the fishing season can vary based on regulations set by fisheries management to ensure sustainability and prevent overfishing. King crab is a type of crustacean that is highly appreciated for its delicious, succulent meat. The most common species of king crab is the red king crab, found in cold waters. King crabs can grow quite large, with some individuals reaching 10 feet long and weighing more than 20 pounds. King crabs are mainly caught and sold as food, and are prized for their sweet and rich flavor. They are often served in high-end restaurants and are considered a delicacy. In addition to its culinary value, king crab also plays an important role in the ecosystem, being a food source for many other marine animals. King crab is a type of crustacean that is highly appreciated for its delicious, succulent meat. The most common species of king crab is the red king crab, found in cold waters. King crabs are mainly caught and sold as food, and are prized for their sweet and rich flavor, biology, and species. A giant king crab crawls on the ocean floor, its sharp claws glistening in the sunlight as it searches for food. When it comes to king crabs, their anatomy and characteristics are fascinating. These organisms are part of the class Malacostraca, and the order Decapoda. They belong to the Lithodidae family, including four genera, Lithodes, Paralithodes, Neolithodes, and Glyptolithodes. King crabs are known for their large size, some species have a leg span of up to 1.8 meters, and weigh more than 10 kilograms. They're Carapace, or exoskeleton, is covered with spines and can range in color from brown to bright red. They have five pairs of legs, the front pair ending in pincers or claws. King crabs have gills for breathing and are omnivores, eating a variety of prey including
fish, mollusks and other crustaceans. King crabs have a complex life cycle, with females carrying their eggs for up to a year before releasing them into the water. The larvae then go through several molting stages before becoming adults. King crabs are known to breed in large groups, with males competing for the attention of females. There are several species of king crab, each with its own characteristics. The best known species is the red king crab. Perilithides campschaticus, which is native to the Bering Sea and can grow up to 1.3 meters long. Other species include the blue king crab, Perilithides platypus, yellow king crab, Lithodis equispinus, and brown king crab, Lithodis maha. King crabs have many predators, including sea otters, octopuses, and sharks. Despite their large size, they are also vulnerable during molting when their exoskeleton is soft and defenseless. In short, king crabs are fascinating creatures with a complex life cycle and unique characteristics. Their omnivorous diet and large size make them an important part of the marine ecosystem. With many species to choose from, there is always something new to learn about these impressive creatures. A king crab stands tall on the rocky seabed, its massive claws raised in a defensive position. The creature's shell sparkled in the soft glow of the underwater light. When it comes to Alaskan king crab fishing, sustainability is a top priority. Overfishing has historically been a major concern and regulations have been put in place to ensure fisheries remain sustainable. The Burring Sea, where the The majority of Alaska king crabs are harvested, is home to many other important species and it is important to maintain a healthy ecosystem. Invasive species are also a concern in the Alaska king crab fishery. Red king crabs were introduced to the Barents Sea in the 1960s and have since become an invasive species that threatens the local ecosystem. The introduction of non-native species can have a significant impact on ecosystems and it is important to prevent the spread of invasive species. Alaskan king crab is a popular ingredient in seafood restaurants around the world. The giant Pacific octopus is known to prey on Alaskan king crabs, making it a favorite among raw seafood enthusiasts. The Pribilof Islands and Norton Sound are two of the most important areas for harvesting Alaskan king crab. Alaskan emperor fishing is carried out in the fall in the waters off Alaska, and the Aleutian Islands. Commercial fisheries are operated worldwide. A large number of emperors are also caught in Russian and international. Waters. In 1980, at the peak of the imperial industry, Alaska fisheries produced up to 200 million pounds of crab. However, by 1983, total fishing revenue had dropped. To 90% in some places. Several theories for the rapid wear of sportswear have been proposed, including increased fishing, warmer waters, and increased hunting by fish. As a result, the current season is very short and in the 2010 season,
season, only 24 million pounds of red king crab were caught. Alaskan crab fishing is dangerous, and the death rate for fishermen is about 80 times higher than the death rate for ordinary workers. It is said that on average one fisherman dies every Every week during the seasons. King crabs have commercial value. In Alaska, three species of king crab are fished commercially, red king crab, blue king crab and golden king crab. Red king crab is the most prized of its three meats. The fourth type, the scarlet king crab, is too small and solid to be commercialized, although its meat is considered sweet and delicious. Must meet tool size requirements, only certain types of emperors are legal at different times of the year, and only males are kept. The most popular fishing time is from October to January. The window for a season continues to shrink, at one point a red season lasted just four days. After 2005, each boat was given a limit based on the amount of catch. previous years and the number of crabs available to catch. The fleet was reduced from 251 to 89, and that number has decreased since then, as many boat owners found it more profitable to lease their quota than to spend money preparing a boat for fishing. Currently, see Seasons last two to four weeks. After the 2005 season, the Alaska crab industry switched from a Derby style season to a quota system. This transition is called rationalization. According to the old format of the Derby, a large number of teams competed to. catch each other in a limited amount of time. Under the individual fishing restrictions system, established owners were granted quotas which they could carry at a more relaxed pace. In theory, it aims to be safer, which is the main reason for changing the fishing rules. The transition to system restrictions is also expected to increase the value of value by limiting the available market. The influx of foreign countries caused the loss of some of these ingredients in the 2006 crop season. The process of rationalization created many seamen, who lost their jobs and many small seamen who received assigned quotas that were too small to meet operating costs. During the first season running under the IFQ system, the fleet was reduced from over 250 boats to about 89. most of which were larger than the high limit. Commercial fishing vessels range from 12 to 75 meters in length, are equipped with hydraulic systems to improve fishing, and can withstand the Burring Sea's rough seas. Each fishing boat sets its own sailing schedule during the fishing
season, often staying offshore for many days or weeks at a time. Fishermen use a box-shaped beak called a content, which consists of a nylon-framed steel mesh. Each organ weighed 600 to 800 pounds and a ship could transport between 150 and 300 organs. Fish, usually herring or cod, were placed inside the body, then sunk to the bottom of the sea where the emperor resided. The barrels are dropped in a straight line to make them easier to pick up. Red and blue king crabs can be found between tides and depths of 100 fathoms. Yellow king crabs live at depths of 100 to 400 meters. The location of the vase was marked on the surface with a cannon, which was then used for recovery. After letting the barrels rest on the seabed, the barrels are pulled back to the surface using a hydraulic candle with a pulley at the end. Called block. The interior is then loaded onto the boat and the crew sorts the catch. Anyone who does not meet the size and gender definition requirements will be returned. The door is kept alive in the tank until the boat arrives ashore for sail. If the weather gets too cold, live crabs can freeze and break. If they are left in the tank for too long, they can die because they can eat other animals. King crab caught outside the United States is currently on the list of marine products that sustainability-minded consumers should avoid. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program lists emperors caught in the United States as alternatives. The influx of fishing from Russia also caused many economic problems for crab farmers in the U.S. Imports from Russia increased from about 21 million pounds, 9.5 million kilogram, in 2004 to 37.5 million pounds, 17 million kilogram, in 2005, an increase of more than 56 million pounds, 25.45 million kilogram, in 2005. 2007. Many of these foreign countries were believed to be caught and imported illegally and resulted in prices continuously falling from $3.55 slash pound in 2003 to $3.21 in 2004, $2.74 in 2005 and $2.30 in 2007 for Alishian Yellow Emperor and $5.15 per pound in 2003 to $4.70 in 2004 to $4.00 and 52 cents in 2005 and four dollars and 24 cents in 2007 for light soul red bristol bay